ladies, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to have a slight delay in the start of the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting. Uh, we need one more member to make a quorum. So. Thank you.
All right, we'll start a meeting, uh, the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting at this time. Uh, roll call, please. Is he ready? Is the video I guess all ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, start the meeting at 5, 11 p.m. Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Here. Alderman Seeger. Seeger. Alderman Bolton. Alderman Kirkwood. Present. Alderman Newsom. Present. We have a quorum, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, item B, approval of minutes. I'd like a motion to approve the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting minutes from August 15th, 20, 
2022. So as, as presented, motion by Newsom, Alderman Newsom, and a second by Alderman Kirkwood. Alderman Kirkwood. Thank you both very much. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Audience time. Anyone in the audience would like to address the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting regards items on the agenda at this committee? Mr. Pitts. I'm wondering and I don't know. Speak up a little bit, sir. I'm wondering and I don't know. My name is Charles Roosevelt Pitts, R-O-S-A-V-E-L-T. <laughs> um, I am deeply concerned that Waukegan literally has five Superfund sites, and we have, in addition, the cold water pools. My concern is that which organization which government organization of Waukegan is going to monitor their progress, whether or not any work is being done to mediate or fix those problems, and who is of Waukegan is going to monitor how close to a catastrophe we're going to have with these ash coal plants. I just, I just, I just wonder and feel are we sleeping on a major catastrophe that's gonna happen? Um, with the rising waters, climate change, they're saying these pools could leak and it could poison the water for several states. And at some point, it's, you could be liable for billions of dollars. Um, I'm wondering who of Waukegan- Nobody. We don't have that monitoring capacity. We don't have that monitoring purview. That is the Illinois EPA and the United States EPA. Those are the two agencies responsible for monitoring and declaring it those uh, Superfund sites, setting the standards to which they be cleaned and the processes that they be cleaned or kept. Uh, and this, those Superfund sites have been, have been being addressed for many years, I don't know the exact status, but they've all been touched one way or another. We've put millions and millions of dollars, we meaning the government, uh, into cleaning up both the harbor from the PCBs, Johns Mansville for the asbestos, the Yeoman Creek landfill for the, that was a, a junkyard over there, all of the OMC properties, all of that has been remediated to one degree or another, and there are some that may need some continued more remediation, I don't know what those might be. I think Noel might be able to answer, or maybe Tom might be able to answer those questions, but to, to, to the, the brunt of your question is who, on Waukegan, who in Waukegan does that? We don't have that facility, that is the IEPA and the US EPA. Okay. All right, so what about creating a subcommittee that would um, compile data and compile data reports and my, to get any new updates regarding this, especially with a lot of the funding that's coming down. Would there be anybody to research if there's any funding coming down? And also, what about emergency plans? If something outlandish happens, is there any type of emergency plans okay. regarding these impending crises? Okay, so those are questions that you would, I would direct you to go contact the mayor's office and she or Chief of Staff, Chief of Staff Bridges might be able to direct you further, but we here in this committee, we wouldn't have those answers or that ability to create any such committees. Okay, so I, I, let, let me be clear. Do you have, is there any desire to create any subcommittee to compile data and monitor what's going on? No, we do not have the facility, nor do we have the authority to do so. Okay, so just putting documents in one location on your website, you don't have the... We do not. That is the Illinois EPA. They, they, they are the Environmental Protection Agency. That's their title, and that's their purview. This is the Infrastructure Committee. This, our purview is the Infrastructure of Waukegan pertaining to streets, roads, water, sewer, those types of things. So again, I think you, you may want to talk with the mayor's office and they might be able to better answer your questions, okay? 
Thank you very much, sir. All right. Yep. Is there anyone else who would like to speak uh, before or address this committee? No. And uh, Mr. Pitts, if you like, I'll meet you after the meeting and I can share more of what knowledge I have, but I think you really need to go to the mayor's office, okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, there being no other additional audience time, let's move into new, no old business and no new business. If I might, if it be your pleasure, lady and gentlemen, I would like a resolution approving and authorize. I'd like a resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials to execute a professional services agreement with Robinson Engineering for construction engineering services related to the fiscal year 23 road program in an amount not to exceed $189,000. Move. Okay, I will. You guys were like right there in tandem. I'm going to give this one to Alderman Kirkwood. Mm -hmm. Alderman Kirkwood makes the motion. Alderman Newsom, if you agree, makes the second. Yes. All right, so it's Kirkwood, then Newsom. Thank you both. And uh, roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you all. Uh, each <laughs> uh, item B. If you may, I would like a res uh, resolution approving a change order. <clears throat> Excuse me, a resolution approving a change order to the contract with Aircon Refrigeration and Heating for the HVAC upgrades for City Hall and Public Works for replacement of the isolation valves in a, in the amount of fifty two thousand four hundred and twelve dollars bringing the total contract amount to $2,343,180. Mr. Director, could you give us a little bit of why? What, what brought this change order about? Uh, upon further review of checking these, um, these two systems, they came upon the valves for the boiler and the, the pumps not going to be able to function correctly with these new systems. Right. So they recommended that we change them out. Okay. Is, is there any, um, any constraint or risk uh, to acquisition related to the supply chain? Are these in stock readily available, ready, readily acquired, or is there some issue that, or potential risk that we face in, the, in delaying the purchase? From my understanding, with the new system, they just recommended that we uh, that we change them out. So, right, so we, we can get them. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Um, so if I can have a, I'm sorry. Is there any other questions? Okay. So a uh, roll call, please. So, did you move by that? Alderman Newsom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Alderman Newsom makes the motion. Mr. Mr. Kirkwood makes the uh, second. And the roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. <coughs> Thank you. And item C, <clears throat> if you may, if I may, we may, uh, resolution re retro retroactively approving and authorizing the proper city of officials to enter into an intergovernment agency agreement uh, intergovernment agreement between Lake County and the city of Waukegan for roadway improvements along Belvedere Road from Knight to Green Bay for the amount of $61,952. Where is Knight? Is that like over in the first ward? Like, no, that's yeah. uh, Park City. Yeah. Oh, Knight. Here. Knight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it would night. be just west of uh, the Wendy's right there at Birch. Yeah, it'd be just Got west it. of it. Okay, there. all right, cool. Thank you. Um, the city uh, city council's retroactive approval is requested for an intergovernment intergovernment agreement between Lake County and the city of Waukegan for wo roadway improvements along Belvedere Road between Knight and Green Bay, including sidewalk. The agreement will cover road resurfacing and widening, drainage improvements, sidewalk, street lighting, utility relocation, and the upgrade of permanent traffic control signs. 
The funds for the agreement will be paid to the late to Lake County from the city of Waukegan in the amount of $61,952. The funds were to be charged to line item 312-131-227635. May I have a motion? Or if there are any questions. Okay. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second by Alderman Kirkwood. Thank you, lady. Thank you, gentlemen. And a roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you. Thank you both. Item D, uh, resolution uh, re uh, re requesting a resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials per section 2 dash 458 subsection, subsection I subsection 7 good faith waiver to purchase three vehicles for the water department in an amount not to exceed $156,323.72. The council's, uh, council's permission is requested to waive the competitive bidding process per section 2-458 subsection I subsection 7, the good faith waiver, and adopt a resolution approving the purchase of three vehicles for the water department. With the shortage on vehicles and parts, the water department did not go out to bid for these vehicles. This purchase will be for a not to exceed amount of $156,323.72, with funds being charged to line item 555-915-526-493. And there are attached quotes. Um, the vehicles to be purchased are a 2022 Ford Escape in the amount of $34,488.24. A 2021 Ford Super Duty F550 in the amount of $91,747.24. And the um, uh, 2021 Ford EcoSport uh, in the amount of $30,088.24. Uh, are there any questions? There would be no questions. May I have a motion? Motion by Alderman Kirkwood. Second. Second by Alderman Newsom. And roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you both very much again. And item uh, four, reports and communications. There are none. Uh, motion for adjournment. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second by Alderman Kirkwood. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned at 525 p.m. Thank you both very much.